uh, it's Tan again, welcome back, and uh, the gentleman at uh, CigarsIndia.in, premier online retailer of uh, Cuban and non-Cuban cigars, and a very trusted retailer, have uh, asked me to review uh, the Ramon Ayones special, <coughs> excuse me, specially selected, and this is it. It's a Robusto, and uh, it's also one of my favorites, so I'm going to enjoy this, this uh, review. The uh, company Ramon Ayones was actually founded by uh, two brothers uh, who emigrated from Galicia in Spain, and uh, they registered the company in 18, about 1845. And they are groundbreakers for a number of reasons. Um, whether this is true or whether there's counter arguments to this, but they have certainly been accredited with a number of firsts in the cigar industry. The first is uh, their color lithography in their boxes. Unfortunately, we don't have one with us, but I'm sure that can be put in the uh, video which accompanies this. Uh, it's just a blaze of colors and uh, it's very enticing. It says, look at me, I'm a cigar and I'm a cigar box and please uh, have, a, have a try of me. So that was one of the groundbreaking achievements, color lithography. They were also credited with uh, putting cigar bands, the bands on the cigars themselves, uh, prior to uh, other cigar manufacturers doing likewise. The final uh, groundbreaking thing that they are accredited with is that uh, of their packaging format, which is an 8 and an 8 the way that the box is actually laid and the way that the cigars are put, uh, laid into the box, uh, they come in a ratio of 8, then 9, and then 8 to make the 25. So again, that was a groundbreaking achievement. Going through this. It's very well kept. The construction is beautiful and uh, it should be a good smoke. It should ideally be aged for some time uh, because this is a cigar which I consider part of the, the great Cuban trinity of full-bodied cigars. This would be on par with the Bolivar range and also the uh, Partagas range. The company itself was, uh, as I said, founded in 1845, but they went through several uh, different owners through that uh, period to the present day and uh, about 1911 or 1927 I believe they were taken over by the Partagas factory and they're still made at the Partagas factory uh, not in the same ratio as the Partagas range of cigars uh, they're certainly smaller in quantity and uh, some have surmised that it's actually to maintain the superior quality of the smoke so just assume something assume a, a Rolls-Royce or a Bentley. Uh, Bentleys were known as the car for the driver, whereas the Rolls-Royce was known as a car for showing off and showing your presence, basically. So this is a very understated cigar, but very ap appreciated by seasoned cigar smokers and some aficionados have said also uh, connoisseurs of cigars. So it's got a very good reputation and uh, we'll just, let's see, put it to the test and give our impressions on this. So let me cut it first. This one's actually been aged for some time, so it uh, has a nice aged uh, character to it. It's very woody. Nothing green, nothing negative in that context, but it has that woody uh, character, woody, woody taste to it.
Reviews have generally said that this has a slightly floral characteristic, um, exotic nuts, exotic herbs, whatever they are, um, honey sweetness with a medium toasted tobacco. Now on previous occasions when I did smoke this cigar, one thing that always stood out for me and what I tended to differentiate between the Ramon Ionis and the Bolivar or the Particus was this spicy quality which was very pronounced in the Ramon Ionis um, in comparison to say the uh, Bolivar which I tended to be very earthy and the Particus which just had an element of spice and had that earthy quality but was overpowering in its own, uh, in its own way. So for me the, there is still that element of spice. Picking up toasted tobacco, there's a, there's a subtle aroma in the smoke of uh, sandalwood actually. It's got a very nice uh, aromatic smell, but subtle, sandalwood. The woody character is uh, coming out of this. I'm thinking uh, now uh, walnuts again. There's a slight tinge of bitterness coming out of it. There's nothing, there's no toasted ground nuts or any of that. It's actually walnuts. There's a slight bitter element, but not in a negative way. It just imparts a complexity to the smoke. I'll just let this settle in and get back to you at the next uh, stage. Okay, guys, it's uh, settled in a bit. And uh, what I'm picking up is, uh, we were trying to gauge the uh, the, the, the taste profile of that, whether it was vegetal or, or something else. There is that slight vegetal element to it, but uh, more than anything, for me, I, I just get that walnuts or Brazil nuts. There's a slight tinge of bitterness, which after you chew the nut, and it just leaves that uh, aftertaste briefly in the mouth. That's what I'm sort of picking up with this. Maybe it could be described as vegetal. Um, I'm not sure. Let that uh, be for you to decide. The draw is very good, and it's very well balanced. It's 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 not. There are no overpowering uh, characters just uh, coming into the scene with this. It's just gradually. I know it's going to gradually take me up to a plateau and um, leave me at that plateau right to right to the end. So it's just building up. getting anything floral in this. Um, difficult to say. Like I said, it was more like some, something like powder, talcum powder or sandalwood, definitely. That's what I, I picked up. But with that toasted tobacco character coming underneath, it's uh, getting more toasted. Um, This has been recommended more for the seasoned smoker because it is quite a, a potent cigar and uh, you can certainly have this with uh, uh, various types of food. Uh, it can certainly hold its own against them and uh, also spirits or wines. Again, if they're strong, this can certainly hold its own against them. As a counterpoint, perhaps a, a very rich, sweet uh, wine, or a, or a sweet, uh, sweet whiskey. For example, a Macallan. This would do very nicely with a Macallan. Or, in terms of sweet wines, perhaps a Sauterne or a. a I can't think of any other sweet wines at the moment. A Takai. Sorry, that was it. Uh, Hungarian Takai. There, the sweetness kind of counterbalances the potency of this uh, toasted tobacco uh, character and this woody character. It's also a very smooth smoke.
it doesn't settle towards the back of my tongue and uh, go down to my throat, but it certainly uh, has a smooth profile when it hits the, the front of my tongue. I'll just stop now and uh, get back to you if we get any other changes in profile. Hi guys. Uh, we reached more than halfway of the cigar. Uh, we just uh, had to actually try it uh, outside at the tasting room because there were other fumes which uh, were impacting on this. The uh, especially selected, uh, I've been reliably informed, was uh, actually uh, first introduced or launched in uh, about 1980 and it's been going from strength to strength. As I said before, it is a cigar which is made in significantly less quantity. Uh, as compared to, say, the Partagas range, which is why one drawback, if you could say that, of the cigar is uh, finding it, generally. But otherwise, uh, it, it, it is for a seasoned smoker, and it's just offered pretty much the same from the start to, to now. Um, upon further reflection, I, I thought you could do two things with this cigar. Either spend time with it by itself in the evening and just pick up the subtle nuances and uh, flavors that are actually co uh, coming through, uh, prefer preferably not in a very smoky environment because it does have some very subtle flavors. Or, if you want to enjoy it as an accompaniment to uh, any other activity you're doing, uh, that again would be a, a good option because um, it can take a, a wide variety of drink, it can also uh, hold its own against a wide variety of uh, foods and uh, some foods which you, would, uh, you could say are quite uh, strong. So this gives you options which uh, I think uh, other cigars may not do and why I would recommend this one. It is certainly uh, for a seasoned smoker, if you push it, perhaps an intermediate smoker. Uh, there are still elements of that uh, uh, vegetal greenness coming out of it, but as I said, it could be the you know, flavors of like Brazil nuts or, or walnuts, those, those kind of slight bitter taste, which could be mixed up with a green kind of tinge to it. It certainly gets stronger, which you'd expect towards the end. The aroma of the smoke is less pronounced. I'm not getting that sandalwood uh, anymore. It's just quite uh, potent now. It's to toasted tobacco. Ideally, these sh cigars should be aged for about three to five years. Um, and a lot of those green qualities, I think, would be uh, taken out of the equation then. And some of the other subtle flavors which are in there uh, get a chance to actually come out. Of course, if you can age it for much longer, then uh, I think it would be a much better smoke uh, compared to even now. It is very full-bodied. So to summarize, it's strong, it's uh, potent, it uh, has a woody character, it uh, certainly has very subtle flavors coming out, and it has uh, lifted gone up in, uh, to the next level uh, further towards the end of the smoke. Before I sign off, I hope you like this. The uh, price point of the cigar is between uh, 1,100 and 1,300 rupees. And pick them up if you can find them because that, that is one of the, the drawbacks, that they are very difficult to find. Luckily, you have the opportunity with the uh, uh, gents at uh, cigarsindia.in. They have a very good stock and very well kept stock as well. So, if you like this, please uh, do get in touch with them. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. And uh, also check the uh, site out on uh, uh, Facebook and uh, their Twitter account as well. Hope to see you soon.